Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get an event slider on a page using just a line of shortcode. To know more about the shortcode we're going to use, we need to head over to our knowledge base. So that's wp eventmanager.com. From there, you can scroll down to the footer section and click on the knowledge base link or you can always save this link in your bookmark and direct access and in here from the add-on section we will go inside the event slider by the way you can find all the others plugins tutorial or documentation in here as well so if you need any kind of help feel free to consult them so we need the short code for the slider and that's our very first topic in this knowledge base we have a quick navigation on the right hand side for user convenience so we can navigate using those links over here easily but coming back to the topic the shortcode we need is this one event slider alongside with some parameters that i will explain what each parameters does in a very short moment please bear with me so now let's go back to our dashboard and we're going to create a new page And we're gonna title it event slider so just for this demonstration but uh, you get the point over here right and i'm gonna switch back to the core editor section as that's pretty convenient for editing short codes and stuff so let's paste our short code here so let me explain the short code and the parameters we have so we have event slider that's the main short code we have featured so that's a parameter then we have our limit parameter and the order by so the featured parameter it accepts a boolean value so in numerical form boolean values defines a variable if it's true or false but there is a numerical value to booleans so for true it's always one for false it's always zero just like binary but let's explain the featured parameter anyway feature parameter when it's set to one or true it will show only featured events on the slider pretty simple otherwise if we set it to zero it will only show the events that are not featured in this website now we have limit as you have already guessed yes it's the limit for the number of events will be shown in the slider we can put any num numerical value over here that will get displayed in the event slider okay then we have order by in order by we can enter certain range of values that we can see over here let me show you in the knowledge base yes right here it supports title id name modified parent and random so title it will get sorted by the title or alphabetically it will get sorted by id if you set it to id or it will get shorted by name or by date modified or parent so this parent one is uh, coming from recurring events so that works as well over here on the slider add-on and this rand means random so the events will get displayed or sorted in a random matter so now we can actually publish this uh, page over here and view this in a front end side so let's go open this link in a new tab and we will see our event slider so in here we have this slider with the featured event present in the website let's open our event dashboard in any tab so we can see the events we have we have probably four events yes right we have four events but three out of them is featured so that's perfect for this demonstration you can see the event over here are being displayed in a slider format the event image or the banner in the left and event details in the right so we have our event title our event organizer whether our event is paid or not a short description and a read more button so this read more button will take you to the single event details page so will if you click this image over here as well so we can slide over this uh, slider over here you can see the uh, event count or the slide count over here as well uh, this uh, button works for navigation as well so this slider how it works we showed you 
what benefit it serves really it comes to that matter so suppose you are designing a website where you might want to include a event listing slider so you can use the shortcode and our slider add-on to display this event slider in a neat and clean way this slider does work in a responsive way as well across all the devices it can be desktop laptop or mobile so leaving that let's play or fiddle with the parameters we have over here as you can see we have featured included we can set it to zero to show only the non-featured event let's reload this page now we will see only the non-featured event we have over here the our awesome event is being shown in this slider so that makes the featured parameter clear we show a demonstration of true and false value for the featured we can actually remove this feature tag completely to show all the events over here let's move on to the limit section over here as you see we do not have a lot of events to play with anyway for the demonstration but we have four let's say we added it to two out of three featured event and update this page and then we can reload this page over here and now we see only two events showing up over here out of three featured events since we set the limit value pretty simple uh, principle and pretty much self-explanatory as well and then order by uh, this is random i set it to so the, the slides over here will be displayed in a random order as i said earlier you can actually use all of these uh, of these supported values so such as title id name modified and parent parameters over here to display the slides on that order so this was a very short video about how you can get an event slider using a single line of shortcode in the wordpress using our event manager slider add-on we will show you in our next upcoming video how you can create a custom page template and show the event slider in there so tune back in for that some other day some other time until then i'm shadat signing off thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one